Welcome back, everybody, to the Beer Money Mania Voting Tournament. Uh, I have Shane back here with me, and we're going to talk about the results from round one. So it was a pretty exciting round, I got to say. It was. Um, it was uh, more interesting than I even thought it was. Um, typically, first round matchups in a typical tournament like an NCAA, right? They, you know, you might get like one or two, like Yale winning, you know, right? In, in right. real life basketball, mm-hmm. but for the most part, I, I gotta say, the story of the day was these survey sites. Yeah, I we'll, mean, it, it was just incredible to see how they went down. Yeah, we will we will talk about that uh, when we get to that segment. But I do have a couple housekeeping things I want to talk about, too, regarding the channel and the tournament itself. So um, first off, uh, because we want to do an update after each round, uh, although a little questionable on the semifinals, I'm not quite sure if we're going to do that yet. I had to change the dates of the voting a little bit. So first off, all votes will go 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. instead of 11 to 11. Uh, There might be one exception in the quarterfinal because I got something to do with my primary job, but we'll sort those dates out when it's time. That's why I put the start times up there. So the quarterfinals will now be tomorrow, Sunday, the 24th, and Monday, the 25th. And then we're going to have a break on the 26th. Then we will have our quarterfinals on the 27th and 28th. We'll have another break on the 29th, semifinals on the 30th, and then, of course, the finals still to be determined, but we're planning on an April 1st and 2nd, maybe March 31st, April 1st. A lot of that depends on if we're going to be even doing a semifinal summary at all. Um, I think Shane had voted, though, for uh, a semifinal summary, so so we will, we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, yeah, and second, there will be a Beer Money Review on Monday. I haven't done one in a while. It'll be a twofer. Just Play is still technically in the tournament. Uh, yeah, uh, if you hadn't uh, noticed in the votes there, there's a spoiler for you. And I don't have time to review it beyond a cursory glance, so I want to wait till I have more time. In the meantime, two eliminated apps will be reviewed. You'll find out which those are when we talk about them, so you check that out on Monday. All right, so before we get to the uh, brackets itself, I'm going to talk about Shane a little bit because we had a lot of people talk about and ask about uh, what you do for the YouTubes. If you wanted to talk I about that. I don't do a whole lot um, with the YouTube. I do play-by-play announcing for um, Wapsie Valley Schools. Um, if you ever want to check out some of my play-by-play, it's, uh, I think it's a YouTube channel. It's called a Wapsie Valley Athletics. And I do mostly baseball, um, but I also have done football, and I even did a basketball one. Um, seemed like I, ha- they, I have what's kind of called a radio voice. <laughs> so... Um, it comes natural for me to, to be able to talk on, online. Plus, I got a big mouth, so um, love to talk. So, if you guys want to want to check that out, that's great. Um, I've had some ideas about maybe possibly, you know, doing something like this. Um, I, my passion is these beer money apps. Um, I love talking about it. I love doing them. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. It, it comes down to my education because I'm not very good with like video software and editing and stuff like that. So, David, I've been I've been in your brain on it so but we'll but we'll see but for right now yeah the only time you'll see me is on on the wapsie valley athletics and also i left a free cash and swagbucks referral link on the description below and actually it was shane that told me about the uh free cat a little free cash uh uh money loophole bit regarding the video ads that apparently even does better than bridge at least as far as i understand it so free cash has some, I think they're called uh, offer partners in in their links, and there are three of them that are videos where you can and you don't have to necessarily watch them. You play them. Um, the videos will play ads throughout while they're playing, and when those ads play, it'll give you points. It'll give you coins. Um, there's three of them. MM Watch is, is the most popular. It's been my best paying one. There's also um, AdSent Media, I think is what it's called, which uses the Pixel Point, um, Hideout TV. And then there's Luta, Lootability, I think it's what the third one is called. That's Loot TV. And what you do is you, you just let these videos run. You don't have to watch them. Let them run. Every once in a while, um, like Hideout TV and um, Loot will make you do like a bot. Check. It'll, it'll ask you, you still there? And you have to click a box to let them continue playing. MM Wall will bring up a pop-up every now and then to make sure you're still there that you have to click on to allow it to keep playing. But yeah, I've been making, man, anywhere from 
$2 a day, two to three bucks a day. And all I do is I put these videos up on a separate screen and I shut the monitor off so that way I'm not using power. And I just let them run. And from every, every now and then I'll, I'll, I'll check in on them. And with those earnings help me get my daily streaks because um, they, uh, free cash will award you for making a dollar every day. So you'll get that, plus you'll get your daily bonus. I got to say, free cash has been really profitable for me as of late. And if anybody does use, and, and it don't matter if you use my referral code or not, but um, if you do, great, thank you. Um, we both will get a little something off of, off of it. Um, but even if you don't, hit me up on Discord, hit me up on the on the YouTube in the comments. I'll be happy to show anybody and show you which one of these offers are to help. Because I love helping other people make money. So if you're making money, we're all happy. And uh, um, yeah, it's a good time. All righty. So yeah, I actually am uh, using the make money wall myself to make a little bit. I think I make something around along the lines of about 70 to 80 cents a day doing that alone. I don't see AdSend Media, and there's a third one. I'll get back to you on that one for sure, Shane. Um, <laughs> you think even if it's only what, you make 80 cents? Is that what you said? Yeah, that's 24 bucks so, a month. Right, $24 a month for doing nothing. That, that is the perfect passive income to me. It's just letting something yeah. play, and you don't have to do nothing for it. Yeah, you know? I know Swagbucks used to have one of those a long time ago. Uh, not so much anymore. Shopkick but, did too. Um, yeah. Shopkick used to have uh, an ad play where you could just let it run, and you keep picking up kicks. Um, Tasty Wall, he's the one that turned me onto that, and I think he's yeah. got a referral link somewhere out there for everybody too. Yeah, I'll um, leave that they, one on the. I'll leave that, that one that. below. If uh, if Tasty gets that to me, I'll get put it on the link below. So I'll just I remind I remind myself to ask him uh, at the end of this. All right, so are we ready to talk about? The uh, 16 apps that will be moving on in the Beer Money Mania voting tournament. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we will start. We'll start with our four representatives from the game region. The new date for the game region semifinals will take place on March 24th, tomorrow. The two matches in the game region will involve first the overall top seed Benjamin, who had no trouble disposing of Shopkick taking on the four-seed Hive Mapper, who came back from behind early to defeat Mac Adam in the closest matchup of the region. The second game will feature the two-seed Coin, whom Gibby did give a little bit of trouble early on, but Coin did manage to pull away as the day went on. Coin will take on the three-seed Misplay after Misplay beat down Paid Viewpoint in a game where there was never any doubt to the ending, at least in my opinion. Did this pretty much go exactly as you think it would have? It, it was just rock chalk, pretty much. Yeah, it did. Um, this is the only region that we had, and I'm, I hope I'm not spoiling anything, but this is the only one that went chalk. Yeah. So all the of the better seeds advance in this region. Yeah. I, the only one that really kind of surprised me a little bit was Hive Mapper over Macadam. Um, I, I, Macadam, I know, is an app that I think more people use. Hive Mapper, there's literally two people that I know of, um, Zeff and AJ, that even use Hive Mapper. A lot of people have orders for their cameras out there, but they're not actively using them yet. So to me, that was a little bit of an upset because I thought, um, I mean, Hive Mapper got its high seed because you got two people vote at number one, right? Right, right, yep. Yeah. So I figured for sure Macadam would give him more of a battle, but uh, but Hive Mapper's there. They won. Yeah, I think the two, uh, there were two four seeds, um, Hive Mapper and Upland. Uh, we'll talk about Upland in a little bit too in another region that got two first place votes and that was it. So um, yeah, that's the reason why for their four seeds. And I'm just going to say this next year when we have more votes. Not probably, you're probably not going to be able to get away with that. Just saying. It's okay. Yeah, so we'll see how Hive Mapper does next year. Um, so many other people voted for it, though. I mean, it wasn't just two people. Yeah. I mean, it got 24 votes. So, yeah, so there's other people that, are, that at least see the promise of it. So they're, they're getting in on it now. So who are you liking for the uh, regional final here for the quarters? I don't see anything anybody really giving Benjamin a serious competition. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, I was surprised to see Coin struggle against Gibby for uh, at first. Yeah. Um, early on, I think Gibby had the lead, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, but so I no, I don't see anybody really giving Benjamin um, much of a competition in this region. Yeah. For but me, we'll see. for me, the regional final, I'm thinking Benjamin a misplay. Um, I think there's a lot of. Uh, uh, I don't know. It really does come down to which of coin or misplay has more fans and more and less mixed feelings overall. 
So it could very well be chalk. I don't know, but I'm I'm thinking Benjamin misplay for the for the regional final, with Benjamin winning out myself. That's what I'm going with for this one. I'm gonna go with coin. I think it'll be coin and Benjamin in the regional finals because um, I see a lot of people talking about coin. I know a lot of people use it, so I think coin can get past misplay. Um, but it'll be interesting to see. You're right. It depends on yeah. who's using what. Um, if people are using misplay, they'll be voting for it. So. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, take a short ad break, basically, and we're going to come back and do the other three regions, and then we'll pr- kind of tie this all up together. So we will be right back. And we're back, everybody. So we already gone through one region. We're going to go through the other three right now. Uh, we will start with the Skygaze region. So the new date for the Skygaze region semifinals will take place tomorrow, March the 24th. The two matches in the Skygaze region will involve first, the top seed Cashwalk, who absolutely annihilated 1Q in the first round, holding a unanimous vote for almost the entire first half of the day. They will take on the five seed Stake, who handily defeated Connect Cloud, or Connect by Cloud Research, whichever you want to call it. The second match will feature, and this is going to turn some heads, the seven seed beer money veteran inbox dollars who played a close game all day against prolific and managed to eke out the upset of the region will play the six seed upside another upset but far more trendy as we see here from shane putting down amazon m turk despite a late game surge from the ladder you called upside you you called yes, that I did. yeah you did i you know, I mentioned in our selection show how I thought that these survey sites would struggle. I didn't yep. think they would struggle at this point, though. Because um, when you think about it, we all do them. Yes, when you look at um, income potential, survey sites are absolutely are up there, right? We've all got our favorite one. We do them to earn some extra money. But, you know, this tournament just really shows that it's more than just the money. It's also having some fun with it. It's enjoying yeah. the app. I, I, even though I make more money in Cloud Connect, um, and that was the only survey site I voted for, I love Upside because I can go in, I can see where the gas prices are in the area, get some discount off of some of the, some of the Burger Kings. Um, but it, <laughs> wow. I enjoy Upside. Even though I don't make anywhere near as much money in Upside, I, I just flat out enjoy it. And I think a lot that's what people really voted on here. Upside used to have a lot of uh, Hungry Howie's stuff that uh, oh, we took advantage of. So we had our pizzas kind of cost like two fifty after the wow. uh, coupons. It was wonderful. Oh, no, it was like three fifty. My bad. Um, David, I got a couple of Burger <laughs> Kings around here Yeah, that offer 30% cash back there was one that offered me 38 percent. so by the time you tack on the uh atlas earth little merchant reward right and then you get 38 percent cash back it's like you get a whopper for like four bucks you know but if you, if you oh, calculate yeah. that in yeah a hungry howie's was like 30 percent cash back i think when i was doing yeah. it too so that was really nice um as far as who's going to the regional final i mean I feel like it's a given. It's going to be cash walk. Actually, maybe not so much. It's, I'm going to say cash walk and upside. But, yeah, that's, mm. that's going to be a struggle. That That's one where I flip a coin. You know, this guy gaze region flat out went the opposite. It came. It yeah. didn't go chalk at all. It was, it was full of upsets outside of cash walk. Cash walk was the yeah. only higher seed that advanced um, in this oh, region. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go cash walk and upside. I think I think Cashwalk will pull through against Stake, and the reason I'm saying that is because of the 21-plus restriction, and that Stake is not available in several states, so including Nevada, which is a big beer money state. So I feel like it's going to be Cashwalk and Upside. What do you think, though? I'm going to agree with you on this. Um, I, I think Stake is going to give Cashwalk a, a really big run, and it wouldn't surprise me to see stake with the upset because i know we have some gamblers on the website on our on on our discord yeah um that that use it for gambling but a lot of people are also using it just for that free daily dollar um you can go in on this app and that's why david i know that's why you left it in this tournament even though it's a gambling site yes you can go in and just collect that free dollar every day and then cash out 
Um, plus, you know, we can discuss this later. Free cash. You can dump all your free cash money into stake and get an extra thirty percent. Yep. So that's it. Might give it a run, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you. I think at the end of the day, because there's so many people using Cash Walk, um, it's really popular on the Discord. Yeah. Um, it was popular when you reviewed it. I know you continue to review it. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with Cash Walk and Upside in the in the regional finals. Yeah, I'm I'm going with that too. We're gonna to move on now to the Cash Out region. The new date for the Cash Out region semifinals will take place March the 25th, Monday. The two matches in the Cash Out region will involve the top seed Bridge Money, who survived an absolute scare against Young Upstart Rebase. They will be taking on the four seed Upland, who managed to survive a late game surge against Top Cash Back that went into overtime before pulling away in the 29th hour. It was the closest matchup in the tournament. The second game will feature the two seed Swag Bucks, who basically left Survey Monkeys Carcass and Ashes in the middle of a forest somewhere. <laughs> Look at that, 40 to 1. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... Yeah. It'll be taking on, <laughs> yeah. It will be taking on the six seed Mintopoli, who had a riveting back and forth duel with three seed One Pulse, before finally taking them out in the twenty third hour, eliminating the final survey site standing from the tournament. Survey sites, as you see the screen here, O and six in wow. the first round. All six of them got eliminated. And so, uh, well, first off, let's talk about the 0-6 survey, and then we'll go talk about the predictions and analysis of the matchups. I mean, well, as a matter of fact, I think one of them is here, too. you got to think to yourself, like, if you're a survey site and you like a survey site, you might want to push yourself to vote for them a little bit more and put a little bit more weight in them next year, don't you think? Uh, again, I, people aren't necessarily having fun. They're doing them because they're earning money. Right. Um, right. And some of these survey sites, you're, I really struggle with like M Turk um, and some of these other like swag bucks. They also offer surveys because it takes forever to get qualified. You could spend 15 minutes on a survey and find out you don't qualify for it. They're just a big pain in the butt. Um, but you do them because at the end of the day, you know, you can make two, you know, a couple bucks um, if you do find a survey you qualify for. Um, and that's why I do. I, I was surprised though that all six of them went down because I know like yeah. prolific. I know Casey Wallet uses prolific, um, and the Cloud Connect. They do. Um, they do their demographics up front, and they only you only see the surveys you're eligible for, which is really nice, and it helps save a lot of time. But I think what it came down to, David, is that when you think about prolific and Cloud Connect, you have to kind of you have to qualify to get into those True. so even though it was a high seed um because the people that are using it are really loving it right when it comes down to a competition like this it, it, it made them really hard to advance because again there's not a ton of people using them at the end of the day i want to look at the one pulse mentopoly game because this kind of kind of bridges us over to the cash out region again uh, the One Pulse Mentopoly game, One Pulse did come the closest to winning. Why do you think that One Pulse is it? Is this due to One Pulse being a stronger survey site than M Turk or Prolific, or was this due to you think Mentopoly being a weaker opponent? Yeah, uh, I think it's that. Um, but you know, One Pulse, I I don't use One Pulse. I think you do. I do. It, it's if I, as I understand it, it's a real simple, quick minute type surveys yep. isn't it yeah they uh you get three questions max but a lot of them do involve xp boost i do plan on reviewing it in the very near future um so one thing easy money yeah and very and easy, money. easy to qualify as well very easy to qualify yep. and the only thing is their payouts uh you can't really make any more than 20 dollars a month in the site like there's literally a hard ceiling on it and that's my only okay. major issue with One Pulse. Other than that, I love it. I actually really do Still, like One Pulse. <laughs> Twenty bucks a month, though. I mean, you know, you add that along with the other beer money apps that you're doing, and all of a sudden it gets a little lucrative. Which and is you're not why, spending a lot of time. Which is why it kind of bothers me that, like, okay, One Pulse is twenty bucks a month, but like I played Mintopoly too, and Mintopoly, not many people are making that much money off of it. I don't understand how it managed to advance into the next round other than we probably have a crypto crowd but then this doesn't make sense of the region later on we'll talk about in a little bit um but that might explain why they did well and why upland did well and why especially rebase did well 
And that's what I love about doing this tournament, David, is it's, this is making me even go into some of these apps and, like, that rebase did fairly well against I... Bridge Money. I thought Bridge Money was going to blow them out. But I, so I went in, looked at rebase. It's an interesting app. I don't know if I'm going to actually download it and use it, but I can see why people like it. But here's the other thing with Is Bridge it Money. because um, – oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say like, is it because of rebase being being uh, being that good, or is it because bridge money? There's a protest vote there. Oh, I, yeah, I was just going to head there, and I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, I, you know, there's some bad feeling. Not, I shouldn't say bad feelings, but some negative feelings on bridge money because you have to qualify. I mean, you have to get on a waiting list for Earn Plus, and getting on Earn Plus, that's where the real money is because everything doubles. Plus, they give you extra for like categories um they, they give you more ads to watch they double your ad um coins for it but you have to get on a waiting list for earn plus and there's a lot of people um that we have even on our discord that are been waiting for months and the other thing is too with bridge money that's a negative is the cash outs are so unpredictable um you you can't just go in anytime you want and cash out whenever you want you have to cash out when they're open and when they're available I tried to cash out this morning. No can do. Not available until they say Monday afternoon. You know, so that's a that's a negative. To, uh, well, so you're right, David. That some of that may be and and going forward, that may hurt Bridge Money. Am I? Am we'll I? See. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to ask. Like the next round match is going to be against Upland. Now Upland also survived, barely survived against Top Cash Back, and honestly, that was one I could see had gone either way anyway. Um, do you think this will hurt Bridge Money in its uh, second round match against Upland? It it could. A, I still think Bridge Money will, will advance. Um, Upland's got a good following though, so I mean, it will it might be closer than what we than what we originally yeah. thought. Yeah, and I accidentally pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> I pressed the pause button, so it might be a little bit like a one second blip there. I apologize, everyone. Um, so regional finals, I am going to go bridge money swag bucks. I don't think yeah. that the two crypto sites have what it takes to, uh, to advance on. And I'm going to go with them with that one, but bridge money upland. That's a, that's a toughie actually that, that becomes a lot more interesting now. It does. It does. But I agree. I'm going to go with Bridge Money and Swag Bucks. I don't see Metopoly giving Swag Bucks that much competition. A lot of people are using Swag Bucks. So the crypto crowd, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of crypto fans out there, and um, you know they're gonna they're probably gonna vote for Metopoly. It might make it closer than what I think, but I, at the end of the day, Bridge Money and Swag Bucks. And I hope that happens because that's going to be a fun one. That's going to be yeah. a really <laughs> interesting matchup. Oh when yeah. It happens. <laughs> All right. So. Uh... This did go a little bit longer than I expected, so we're going to do one more ad break, everybody. And when we're back, we're going to do the five-second ad region and go through our own brackets and see who's winning in our prediction contest. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. We are now going to go to the five-second ad region, and then we're going to talk about our uh, point, our point uh, little contest that we're having between the two of us, AJ Downtown and Tasty Wallets. So... The new date for the five-second ad region semifinals will take place on Monday, March 25th. The two matches in the five-second ad region will involve the top seed Atlas Earth, who convincingly defeated Prize Rebel, though Prize Rebel did get a slight early surge, did not really have much resistance there, and Atlas Earth picked up the most votes for an app in the tournament, taking on four-seed Microsoft Start, who struggled but eventually overcame an onslaught from the iPhone-exclusive Caden. The second game will be the two-seed Free Cash, who absolutely walloped Geosmile, taking on six-seed Just Play, who managed to overtake Ember Fund and pull off the surprising upset to advance into the second round. So, again, Crypto Crowd didn't quite help as much for Ember Cash against Just Play, it looks like. As Just that was Play. a surprise. Yeah, that was I, a... I did think... I thought Ember Fund was going to walk away with that. Yeah, and me too. to see Just Play come back in and win that one was a, was a complete shock. For me yeah yeah and i had i had i know i had just played my bracket but like after the cash out region seeing how well the three crypto well the three metaverse the metaverse three i'm calling them or coin them did um i thought that ember fun was just going to walk away with this as well but surprisingly just play managed to pull it off and advance into the next round um so yeah uh microsoft start 
that one surprises me a little. I know it's a four seed. I know it's popular. But Microsoft Star has been going through a lot of nerfs lately. And to me, I thought that would actually hurt it in this vote against Caden. But it looks like Caden's um, Android... Uh, Android exclusivity probably hurt it in the long run after all a little bit more than I thought it would. Yeah, I agree. Um, in fact, I was completely surprised and I mentioned some comments in Discord um, about people not using Caden. And I found a few people that are not that even have iOS. Right. So I am got them signed up and, and got them going on it. Caden is the... It's the very definition of a passive income, right? A beer yeah. money. You, you set it up. Once you get it going, you literally don't have to do anything with it. Log in, collect coins, none of that. Um, you only have to go in to collect your 40 bucks every three months. That's yeah. it. Um, every once in a while, they will add like new connections. And I discovered that they added Target um, the other day. So that did drop my daily earnings. Because you get 49 cents a day um, on Caden if you have all mm -hmm. of the connections it dropped down to 45 cents but once i went in and added my target account back up to 49 cents a day so if those of you that are using Kading, go in and double check that's your cue to go in and just make sure that you're getting the maximum um per day and you'll get a thousand points for uh connecting that target app so but yeah um getting back on point it, that was a surprise i don't i didn't realize there were that many people that were using um microsoft um, well, to me, at least, it won't be for much longer. And I'm going to actually make a bold prediction here. Next year, we will not see Microsoft start in the tournament. That's my bold prediction. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm making that bold prediction right now. Or if we are, it's going to be like a 15 or 16 seed. But okay. I'm, I'm just going to go with that. Well, we're going to 64 next year, yes. We're definitely going okay. to 64. So I'm going to say it'll wow. be... It, maybe I should give myself a little bit of cushioning and say it'll be no higher than a 14 seed. I think I'll go with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, so regional final. Uh, I think this one is probably the most obvious regional final to me. Atlas Earth and Free Cash. I, yeah. I, I just, I just see it's basically destiny at this point. Um, yeah, I don't see Microsoft giving Atlas Earth. It, 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 like you said, Atlas Earth got what is it? 50, is that fifty-two or 62, sixty-two? Votes? Sixty-two votes. Wow. The most that, in the tournament. Yeah. That tells you something right there. Um, I, I, I think Atlas Earth. And I, mean, I shouldn't speak too far, but it's going to be really interesting to see if anybody can knock out Apple, Atlas Earth, seeing that I, many people going and vote for I it. I did pick Atlas Earth to win, but honestly, yeah, I I actually think it might be Benjamin now. I, I feel like Benjamin has the chance. I mean, I know I still got to stick with my predictions and we'll get to that board, but I got to go. I got to think that Benjamin probably has the edge here, but we'll see if that final we, ever happens. We'll see. Free cash, that... Um, potential matchup against Atlas Earth will be very interesting. You know, I'm really pumping free cash right now. Yeah. It's been making me a, a ton of money. I mentioned the videos that you can... There's all kinds of offer walls in there, too. I cashed out a $75 easy offer wall where all I had to do was go in, sign up for it. It was in some investment app. I forget the name of it. Um, but then I went in, put 5 bucks in that they invest for me, and I'll get that 5 bucks back, right? So... So free yeah. seventy five dollars for just signing up for something. If anybody yeah. wants to know what that is, hit me up. I'll let you know which app that was. But there's a bunch of offers like that in in free cash. So good money making app. Um, I, I don't think they'll have any problems at all with what is that called? Just play. These are my reading yeah. glasses. I can't see without them. But just play. I don't think they'll have much problems there. So between the two of us, Tasty and AJ, the four of us are doing a uh, prediction challenge amongst each other. Uh, we have, uh, basically, we guess it based off of ESPN scoring style, 10 points if you get a first round, uh, a second round pick correct, I should say, 20 points if you get a quarterfinal pick correct, 40 points for a semifinal, 80 points for a finalist, and 160 points if you pick the champion. So far, we are one round in, and as you can see here, AJ is leading, but I believe uh, if Upside makes it to the regional final, uh, Shane, you'll be able to... Uh, pull ahead of him and actually not look back after that. Yeah, I'll need to relook at that because I had down that um, that I actually is am ahead of AJ, but it, that could be because he might have gotten more. He might he well, obviously he must have gotten more first round matchups yeah. right than, than yeah. I did. But my potential points is, is higher. Yes, 
Yeah, you got your forgot. potential points is the highest right now, I believe. Um, then AJ, then myself, then Tasty, I believe. So, so I'm the one that called the upside over M Turk. Yeah, I that. basically have to hope that Atlas Earth wins the championship in order to win, and it's basically a two person race right now between you and AJ, and a lot of that is coming down to upside. So. And Tasty has Bridge Money, so if Bridge Money wins this tournament, yeah, he'll could win. Could be a struggle based on what we've seen. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about bridge money against Upland, actually. I am, too. I am, too. Uh, I'm slightly worried about that, but we will see what happens Tuesday night. I hope to bring back a four-man booth, four-person booth. Um, I think that AJ will be able to show up for that one. I don't know yet. Uh, possibly Tasty. A lot of it depends on what time we do the recording. And uh, I might have one or two other people kind of uh, fill in as well. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to name names right now. Uh, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. It is. Yeah, so a lot of fun. Yeah, so we'll be uh, we'll be back on Tuesday, and uh, okay, so Monday is going to be my beer money review. Tuesday night is going to be the second round review. Polls will go up Sunday and Monday, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll see you all on Tuesday then. See y'all. Go Hawks. Watch them this <laughs> afternoon. See ya.